Hello, first-hand coders. The objective of today's lab is to understand how the computer solves mathematical equations. We know that the computer reads our code the same way we read our book, from top to bottom. So, um, how does it read our equations in a given line? If you look at uh, this table here, you would see the orders and priorities. Equations, are, uh, brackets are the most important. Brackets are the most important, followed by exponents, followed by unary operators, which tell you the sign of a number. For example, if I say this is minus one, or if I say we have plus two, then we have the multiplications and divisions and remainder. Then we have the additions and the subtractions. So let's start with the parentheses. Well, if you have something like this, x plus y times two minus three, supposing x and y are um, 1 and 4 respectively. So the first thing the computer does is it comes into the first, the innermost bracket. It solves this bracket. 1 plus 4 will give us 5. Then in the second stage, the computer will multiply by 2 to solve the next bracket. And then you will have 10 minus 3, which will be 7. So the computer, uh, when it comes to parentheses, the computer starts with the innermost parentheses. When it solves it, then it goes to the next one, and so on and so forth. Supposing you have parentheses here, let's say y minus 1, and then another parenthesis here, x minus 4. The, in this case, the two parentheses are on the same level. Each one is just one bracket that is, it's not inside any other bracket. So what the computer will do in this case, it, it will just go from left to right. It will solve this bracket, solve this bracket, and then do the addition later. So in this case, what we will have is 4 minus 1, which is 3, plus uh, here we have 1 minus 4, which is minus 3. So this means this minus and this multiply uh, this addition will become minus, so we have zero. Okay. All right. So exponents. We can look at this example for inspiration in exponents. You can see that uh, we have in this in line three here we have x square plus y square all raised to power 1 over 2. So in this case, um, the computer would take the bracket as its priority. Inside the brackets, we have two, multi uh, two powers or exponents, so it will solve them from left to right. Therefore, we will have something like, uh, so, 1 square is 1 plus uh, 4 square is 16 and then rest of our 1 over 2. So then we will have uh, 17 rest of our 1 over 2, which is the square root of 17, 4 point something. Okay. So to easily remember how these operators are arranged, 
um, you can just summarize them as brackets order or powers then unary operators then we have uh, multiplications multiplications and divisions uh, so we can just put them all here multiplications and divisions and then we have additions and subtractions so you can read this as board mass okay board mass so if you look at this equation this equation is for compound interest so how do we write this equation okay so we have a is equal to p so in 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 the computer you have to put the multiplication uh, don't leave the space empty because the computer would think uh, it's a function we would discuss functions later so this is p times whatever is in the bracket so we have one plus so we have r divided by n so we don't have problem with this addition here because uh, multiplications and divisions are first so which means this will be done first before the actual addition so we don't have problem here all right then we have the power okay so we have power of n times t note that we added bracket here because we have n t if you remove the bracket what you are telling the computer is um, solve whatever is in this bracket then take the power of n for that result and then multiply the result with t but this is not what we want we want the computer to multiply n and t first before taking the power so since we know that bracket overpowers all other mathematical operations then we put the powers in bracket okay now let's try this next one here we said t is equal to 2 times pi so we have to create uh, we have to uh, import pi from the math function in in python uh, sorry math package in python so we say math uh, from math package import pi so now i am free to use pi here so the math package it's just a a a package is just a, a place where you find many functions and constants that you can use so we say times pi times now we we need square root 2 so we can say um, from math import square root so we can say okay square root of l divided by g so since g is not uh, in our math package we can just write g is equal to 9.81 meters per second so we are done with this equation okay um, if you have any uh, questions regarding what we did today just leave it in the um, uh, comments below thank you very much and have a nice day